Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bassy Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. And this is Al. <laughs> Whoa, an alien has taken off with, with, with my husband, with Santa Lee. So in today's episode, we have a really special one for you. It is the 11 Pipers Piping. And, <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. And we are doing this because Sarah Mack, unfortunately her cat's not feeling well. And so we are taking over the reins on this one for tonight. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. Um, if you haven't already, please think about liking and subscribing. It's amazing uh, being a part of our journey. And <laughs> I'm like composure composure here composure and uh so it is the 11 pipers piping a couple more days until christmas we are so excited and uh why don't we go ahead and get to <laughs> get to the table let's get to the table 11 pipers piping you guys Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I'm super excited about today's pour. <laughs> of course I am. I'm always a little excited. Mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to say uh, that I'm so excited about the holidays. I hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday so Two far. Two days left. Two days left. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you about my canvas and my colors Fine. and everything. I got a 20 by 20 inch canvas. It has been pinned yeah. and taped on the back and uh and i have my as far as my colors go they are some really interesting colors we have taken this lovely carmine red mm -hmm. and mixed it with this Met deco art metallic garnet which made this delicious like shiny berry ish kind of like beautiful color here and then very Christmas of you to refer it to cranberry exactly know, it's mm -hmm. very cranberry um, and then we took uh, 24 karat metallic gold by deco art with mm -hmm. conacridone nickel azo gold mix those two together mm -hmm. to get this luscious like fire opal red uh, orange kind of color which Stunning. is so great now all of those deco art colors you can find linked in our description yeah. box we are deco art affiliates we are so if we you are. click the link um, they won't be any more expense to you guys, but we'll get a very small percentage. And while we're talking about deco art, they're going to be sponsoring two or three episodes for us starting on Christmas Day. Yes. So come back on Christmas Day because we've got some fun stuff happening. Yes. Now, I also have, which I'm in love with right now, is this Indigo by the Expert Series of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And it is delicious. Love that one. Love it. Um, then we also have Bluish or Greenish Blue by Amsterdam, mm -hmm. which is lovely. Um, and then this for this pop of color, this yellowish green by Amsterdam. Now I actually did also mix some of the golden bismuth yellow to that color, so ah. it's not quite green. Got it. It's definitely got more of a like a lighter greener hue to it. Yeah, there we go. You can see that. All right. So you are doing what for eleven oh. pipers piping? Eleven pipers piping, you guys. That's mm -hmm. a very interesting one to get. So I'm going to be doing 11 ring pours, mm -hmm. so 11, 11 different rings, um, but I'm taking piping bags like okay. for, that you use for like icing or whatnot, right. and I'm going to be layering my paint into these piping bags, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to use that to pipe 11 ring pours excellent so just to show everyone the mock-up yeah. here the piping bag is just sitting inside of a yes. two quart bucket yes. just to have something to hold it whilst yeah. you pour your paint yeah, in well, layer my right yeah. and whilst you layer, layer my, your, my your bag, piping bag, my piping bag. <laughs> so that's 11 ring pours yes. piped out of two different bags yes now because you're piping these paints we wanted these to be super super thick Yes. Because we wanted them to hold up in the bag. Exactly. So what so, did you, we mix them with? Mix them with this luscious mix pour. Exactly, which you can get by emailing Krista, Krista. at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Say it, say it big boy. Krista8974 at gmail.com. That's it, and, um, and she <laughs> will send you some delicious mix. And I met her, she is a hoot, you guys. She is so sweet, love her. Um, so anyway, so, 
Why don't we get to porn? I Let's need to do flood it. my canvas. Now this is a color that you didn't talk about. I know, I did not talk about this color. Now this color is, this was some of like, a, actually a lot of our leftover paints that we just mixed together right. and made this delicious like, greeny kind of almost like mossy foresty green yeah yeah it's so pretty yeah so i love it when that happens we always like end up with the most interesting colors right. whenever we mix all of our leftovers together right. and because so. you're piping 11 rings there's a likelihood that you might still see some of this color so yeah. we're, we're we'll glad see. that it's a nice color to play yeah, with yeah we'll see all right go for it big boy well i tell you what let me layer my cup first okay and then um and then once i get done layer my cup then i'll flood my canvas. your piping bag yes my piping bag sorry it's all yes. right so you're just gonna layer one of these piping bags on camera yes. and then we'll do the other one, but you're gonna layer exactly. them almost identically, right? Yes. Okay, right, well then you go for it, sir. Yes, this is really interesting. Yeah, there's all sorts of things to consider here. You know, like <laughs> you don't want it dirty pouring, yeah. how are you gonna get the paint in the bag? How are we gonna get the paint out the bag? But we're gonna wing all that. Yeah, totally. As we explained in the intro, you, you can just go for it whenever you're ready, Jeremy. Okay. As we explained in the intro, Sarah Mack was supposed to do the 11 by uh, the 11 pipers piping. Yes. Um, but the reason why she's not is that she is um, working with a slight emergency with a little lovely cat, Moo. Yeah. So um, she's actually asked us to just step in for her, which we were very glad to do because she's sorting out a little emergency at home. So here's the 11 Pipers piping by the Massey Art Studio. And you will see us tomorrow as well for 12 Drummers Drumming. Yes. So let's see here. We got that. I say we go here. I see you're doing really, really small layers. Was that intentional? Uh, well, honestly, I was just a little nervous about what I was doing at first. So right. now that I'm like, realizing that what's coming out of the bag first is gonna be on the edges. Yeah. I'm not so worried about it. Got it. Or sorry, no, what comes out of the bag first is yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so yes. But you're gonna end up- a little confused But each first. bag is not doing one ring. So like you, you need to worry less about what's going in first and what's coming out last because you're gonna pipe multiple rings with each bag. Yes. Six out of one and five out of the other, hopefully. Yes. Now, one of the things that we're thinking about here is that each canvas only needs, how much did you equate it to? In terms of volume of paint, how much does each canvas need? Um, each canvas needs a total of like 15 ounces of paint. Okay, so, um, so we only need what like, you know, between seven and 10 ounces in each bag. But that's hard to actually calculate when it's in a bag. When it's in a bag. Yeah. So I think there's gonna be probably too much paint in these bags, but you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We've never poured out of a piping bag before. So this is all very new. Yeah, this is really new. Now I see you're trying not to like dirty layer this one. You are yeah. trying to like almost puddle to, it. To puddle it. That's probably yeah. a better view for you guys at home. I think I'm getting close to being done with this one. Mm, nice and thick. At least all the colors are staying very true in the bag so far. Yes. So that's kind of good. Do you reckon you've got seven ounces of paint in that bag? I'm not sure because it goes... I know, because it's got a funnel. It has a funnel. You know, seven ounces is only one of those tiny pots. So you yeah. may well, you may well have seven ounces in there. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. Okay. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladles and jelly spoons. So we're going to pour the other bag in exactly the same way. Let's do that one. Okay. Okay, guys, so I got my, my bags layered. Right. My piping bags. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas and then we'll take it from there. Excellent. All right, guys, so I am so ready to start this. Okay. I got my 
piping bag here with all my colors. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bag out. I'm gonna mm -hmm. snip it with my scissors and start my ringing. Okay. All right, let's do this. Now you are not known for baking using icing bags, sir. So I'm really excited to see how you do <laughs> with this. I hope it looks like a French patisserie at the end. I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen as soon as I cut this. Okay, now you're gonna cut, you need to cut a nozzle big enough for allowing the paint coming out, but not too big because you don't want it all gushing out, right? It's gonna come, come out. Okay. Here we go. All right, guys, this is cracking me up. Like, why is it cracking you up? Because, like, it just came out so different than what I thought it was going to come out. Like, I didn't know. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Oh my so, God, you don't. So, this is really interesting. I have 11 pipers piping on my camera. You absolutely right now. do. Count them, count them, big One, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You do, you do. And um, and you've piped those eleven ring paws. They I look have. like beautiful cinnamon buns. They do kind of look. It looks mm -hmm. very. It looks very Christmas me. Christmas -y to Right. Me. So why don't I go ahead and I stretch, start stretching this bad boy out? What time is it? It is tilting time. It's eleven pipers piping tilting time. Yes, it is. Get out of it, big boy. All right. Okay guys, so this is me done. Love it. Loving it. It's I very Christmassy. It's, it is very Christmassy. Mm -hmm. It turned out really interesting. Like lost a lot of the orange in here. Well, um, and the blues. Where are all those blues I gone? I know. I put a ton of blue in here. Right. Um, but anyway, I like it. I think it came out great. Very kind of Christmassy colors. Yeah. Um, that cranberry just really took over. And But I love it. I think it's awesome. Um, I can't wait to hear what you guys well, think Well, and about you can it. still see all the 11 pipers on there. I, yes. I counted them all and there's still 11 there. It's great. Yeah. 
Yeah. Are you gonna pipe? Are you gonna pipe this one? Are you going to? Are you going to get your edges on this one? I'm gonna get my edges. I'm gonna clean it all up, and then we'll take you guys in for a close up. Whoop whoop. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. It is Lee at the table. All right, so wonderful, wonderful 11 pipers piping. That was 11 ring pours through the piping bag. My 11 pipers piping are going to be represented this way. Also using piping bags. I do know that that was exactly what Sarah was going to do, by the way. So she was gonna do these through piping bags. But this time I'm not doing 11 pours on the canvas. So I'm gonna use 11 colors. So you saw Jeremy's seven. Jeremy had seven colors in his paw. Yes. I've added black. I've added Amsterdam silver. I've am added Amsterdam turquoise. And I've added 24 karat gold. So there's actually 11 colors in total that we've got. That was the yeah. six plus Jeremy's base coat. And I've added another four. Now I'm gonna ribbon pour these colors. So um, I've got my two piping bags here and I've split these colors two ways. I've got some of the blues and the silver and then I've got the oranges and the gold. And I'm going to kind of layer the two piping bags separately and then I'm gonna ribbon pour it. So my plan is to ribbon pour on this 20 by 20 inch canvas using 11 colors through two piping bags. Nice. All right, so let's get to putting these colors in these bags. Now, um, I saw the way that you did it, Show Pony. Yes. Um, I'm just going to do them right on camera here because it's, I think it's actually easier to see into the top of the bag. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So um, let me think about how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This is my indigo and my greenish blue. Pouring both these colors in at the same time. And then I'm gonna go in with some black and some silver. So not quite dirty pour, they are layered, but this is how I'm gonna try and layer them in the bag. So some more of the indigo and the greenish blue. But if you saw that, I swapped them over. And I'm gonna do on this side. And then maybe a little bit more. You know, you only need like... I'm ribbon pouring, remember? And when you ribbon oh, pour, yeah. you always need a lot more paint. Oh, true. All right, and then with the white, I'm gonna put a splash of it down the middle. Just like that. All right, so that's one of my bags done. The next one, let's start off with some gold and some of the turquoise. Okay, then let's go in with the carmine and the orangey mix, which I love, nice and thick. This time we're gonna go in with the concoction of delicious yellow green and some of that beautiful bismuth yellow. And then a little bit more red and a little bit more gold. Being a bit careful with that gold because we all know what happens with gold, right? Yeah, it takes over like a, completely. Like a rascal. Okay, but I am going to use some more of the quinacridone and a bit more of the teal. Okay. And then just like in the others, a little shot of white down the center. All right. I think, I think I'm done. 
Maybe I'll just put a little bit more of the blues in here. I'm going to scrape these out, Jeremy. I want to make sure that all this blue is in here. Sure. You know, with a ribbon pour, you do tend to use an awful lot of paint. And I don't want to waste any of this that's in these pots. Yeah. So let's get the blues in here on the top. And then, can I scrape anything out? Yeah, let's scrape some of the red out in this one. Okay, I think that's all I want to do. Nope, changed my mind. A little bit more silver. <laughs> all right, that is all I want to do. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put these to one side. The next thing I'm going to do is flood my canvas. So let's get to flooding. Now you're using the same. I am. I'm using exactly the same flood base coat that Jeremy had, but to this, I'm going to add some white. So I'm going to make mine even lighter. So this is now my base coat. So it was the leftover colors that we had previously. And then I've just mixed it into my titanium white, which actually did have a little touch of satin enamels in it. So I've taken this down into an even lighter shade of green now. So this is the color that I'm gonna use as my base coat. So let's get this one on the canvas. All right, so got this really lovely base coat down on the canvas. I've elevated it. So what I've done here is stuck a Goldens tub. This is a 16 ounce tub of Goldens just underneath on one side because I'm going to pour the ribbons down and the gravity is gonna help me cover off the canvas. Yes. But instead of layering all the red first and then all the blue next, my plan is to like go up and down the canvas with the colors yeah. to, to mix them all in together. So first off, I'm going to take my blue. So this is all of the blues and those softer tones all in my little piping bag. How cool is that? It's so weird to feel it. I know. It's like a big sausage. Um, and then I'm going to pipe this one onto the canvas. So I'm going to cut this bottom off. In fact, actually, Jeremy, if I can have your assistance, please. Yes. I'm going to have Jeremy, the show pony, cut the bottom off for me. And then I'm going to pour this one onto the canvas. Now, if I can show you where to snip it, I would like it to be snipped right there, if you don't mind. So like there, please. Okay. Right there. Yep. All right. That'd be perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's get this bag of deliciousness on this canvas. One down. Second bag. Same again, please, sir. Right here? Yep. Perfect. All right, so now we've piped our paints onto the canvas. I almost felt like a pendulum at one point. You could have actually gone in <laughs> circles with those things. Now I've got a lot of paint on here and I'm gonna tilt this one out. Yeah. Show point what time is it? Tilting time. It's tilting time.
that's me done. I love it. I, I actually really do enjoy this one. So there was a moment when I layered the piping bags on top of the canvas and I was like, holy moly, it's just dark. Um, and then there was a point where I was like, oh my God, I've put too much of the red colors on there. But actually, I think I've got a really nice balance between the red tones and the blue tones. It is not Christmassy at all, which I wasn't going for, which I really enjoy. And what I really love doing with the ribbon pores is kind of like manipulating the composition. So you have really thick bands of color and then really thin bands of color, you know, and I love the way this one opened up. I think you probably could count every single one of the 11 colors still on here. Maybe the only one that's missing might be the base. Actually, no, I think I can see the base coat coming through right here. So um, yeah, this is my representation of 11 Pipers Piping. Nice. Thank you guys. I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Focus. There you have it. What did you think? Um, I thought it was really cool, honestly. Right. I loved uh, I loved the rings that I got. I like how it changed so much from whenever I poured it into the bag. Like, it just completely changed. Right. <laughs> this is what I live with, you guys. This is what I live with all the time. <laughs> so I thought it was interesting that you had a lot of white in your pour, but it was just because I, I think of the way it was layered down the bag. I know, I think so too. I think that's what it Lessons was. learned, lessons learned. Lessons learned indeed. It's all learning process. Um, I loved my ribbon pour. Your ribbon pour was amazing, yeah, as I, always. Well, thank you, sir. Um, I felt like I managed to keep all 11 of the colors on the canvas. Yeah. And it was really interesting using those piping bags. I would yeah. try that again. I thought it, honestly, I kind of liked it. Yeah. So, yeah. It was almost like a pendulum as we were like yeah. playing with them and swinging them around and stuff. So yeah, yeah. It, was, it was really, it was really, really cool. I think I'd definitely play with that again. I yeah. really enjoyed it. So again, I know that Sarah should be pouring tonight. Sarah, this one's for you, my love. I know that you're sorting out a little, a little um, emergency with the cat. Yes. And um, we hope that everything is well. Thank Absolutely. you for being here with us tonight. So you'll yes. be here with us again tomorrow night. Yes. So on the 24th of December, we're going to close out the 12 boards of Christmas yes. with 12 drum of drumming. 12 drum of drumming. That one's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. We have this really interesting like idea that we're going to play with. So And a 36 by 36 inch canvas. Yes. And we're going to collaborate on just one painting. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. Um, yeah, so come back and see us then. And then please also keep your eye out for the Meet Your Makers episode that was going to air on Christmas Day on yes. the channel the same day that the show airs on Discovery Plus. Yes. So yeah, lots of fun stuff coming. Yeah. Um, thank you to Sarah and to Mina for joining us in this 12th Pause of Christmas. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah? It has been a lot of fun. I'm going to go run around the garden. Go ahead and run around the Send garden. Send them home, big boy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's been so much fun talking to everybody and uh, can't wait to hear all the comments on all this shenanigans. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage. Lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massiar Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel.
And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spank in those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson, we have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien, we've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea, we've got Jane Klein, we've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, aka aka Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepherson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level. Hey, you all know her lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> Yay. I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studio. Absolutely. Thank you guys.